All right, YouTube, Chip here with Hybrid Electric Car Sales. Um, I could not find a video on this. I couldn't find any information on the forums. I found a lot of people complaining about it, but no one with the solution. So I'm gonna come to you with the repair, the solution, and the problem. So what do I have? I have a Ford Fusion Hybrid here, and it's got that transmission squeal that sounds like a bad power steering pump. So here, I'm gonna turn on. Obviously starts up in hybrid, give it some gas. And you hear that? It's coming, the bearing, right there. And that bearing is a stator bearing. This is not the normal bearings that wear out within the transmission on the gear set, which we have. This is a different bearing in there. So follow us as we do this repair and uh, I'll show you how to get it done because this is the only information I can find out on it, but the transmission's got to come out of the car. All right, checking in. Transmission is out. I got my light here. You can't really see, but yeah, she came out. I use quick jacks here. Um, I take it out the top with a chain on it with an engine hoist, and I lower it down onto the floor onto this cart, and here we go. Here's the transmission. I've already taken off the bracket and all the bolts, and I'm gonna open this up, so I'll show you in a second here. All right, well, there it is. This is what I could not find anywhere on the internet is about these stator variants, all right? This is my bad one. If you listen, I don't know if you can hear that, but this bearing is toast. This one's pretty good. We're, we're gonna replace it anyway. Uh, this stator is actually gonna have to come out. You gotta be very, very careful pulling it out, and it is a giant magnet and uh, I gotta replace the bearing on the other side. It's actually just this center section that's gonna come out. We're gonna leave this part in the housing, but we're gonna get ourselves on there and pull this out. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Um, I don't have a tripod or anything, so I'll just let you know when we get it out. There we go. Okay, before I pull it out, I just wanna talk about it. There's, uh, these are the bad bearings, and this is what you hear, that noise when these are going bad. So again, I probably didn't give it enough attention when I had this transmission out the first time. Um, because full disclosure, I already rebuilt the other side of it. I should have been chasing this, but we actually found some pitting on the other side. So I'm glad I did the other side, but this is just going to be a little bit more work. So, all right. All right. Here's the other side of the stator that I pulled out of here. So we pulled the magnet up out of the copper windings. I used a bearing puller tool I had. They had these nice kind of keyways. I'm going to do the same thing to this one where they went down in there with twisted. I just pulled it straight up and it actually worked out pretty perfect. I just set it over here on the other case cover just to have somewhere to put it on without to get too dirty, but I'm going to press the bearings off of it now. All right, all back together. Got the bearings out. Here's that bad bearing. Kind of hear it, but that's that bearing right there. And this is the one that makes that crazy sound I showed you at the beginning of the video. So we've replaced, I pulled out both of these stators. I didn't show you that. That is a serious pain. These things are heavy. Um, had to kind of rig up some of my tools, my existing tools to make it work. So good luck with that. We pressed them off, pressed them back on. And now uh, we're going to put the case cover back on tonight. And then we'll put it back in the car tomorrow. So... All right, well, that's it. Uh, I hope this is helpful to some people. Uh, we do this service here. Uh, I'll have to figure out how much this costs. It's 9.30 at night right now. This is a, I'm a solid eight hours into this, and I've done this job before. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tough job. So, all right, I'll check back in shortly here. All right, here we are, all finished with the transmission job. The transmission's been reinstalled. We filled it up with the Mercon LV. I already took it down to the gas station to fill gas, but here's the engine. So no more, well, I gotta keep the engine running. No more sound, so good to go. Rebuilt the whole transmission. I have all the parts here, let me show you. Back here. So we replaced all of these bearings on the stator side. On the electric drive side, this is the one stator, this is the second stator. Then on the drive side, we replaced all of these bearing cups. This was a bearing. You can see how worn out that was. Originally, I thought this was the noise, but it turned out it wasn't. Can you see that? Should I zoom in there? 
Yeah. Um, this is more common on the, um, there we go. See how tore up that is? On the plugins. Now, the plugins have like an auxiliary fluid pump on the side of the transmission, and these bearings don't go bad on the energies, but it's these bearings on uh, the energies that go bad. It looks like both of them go bad on the hybrid. So, we replaced all those. It's all good. Again, that job is $34.95 here. It, it took me a week to do it. The time I broke it down, I got sick. It was a mess. But it's all back together, uh, and we'll get her sold and uh, get her back on the road. All right, so check us out at hybridelectriccarsales.com or come see us in person at 616 Bradley Court in beautiful Franklin, Tennessee. Hope to see you soon.